So we're trying to find some soft drinks. There's a massive misconception about asp aspartame and all your artificial sweeteners being really, really bad for you. There's no real research other than like rodent trials, which don't really convert to human health. Show like it's not that good for you, but you've got to drink like 100 cans a day for it to be like, to notice any negative effects. And I'm not doing that. And I doubt you guys are doing that as well. We want to look for sugar-free variations. If you want something sweet now, some people out there think that you should just have water or like water and veg. I'm not one of those people, but if you like water, like cool too. If you feel like that's something you need to do for your health, fair enough. But I personally love all these. Some personal favorites I'm gonna say is Polo. Zero sugar is gonna be a one for me, big time. Coke no sugar obviously is like a no brainer. If you like Mountain Dew, they do Mountain Dew Zero with caffeine. Get the out. Now, if you like full sugar, Go for it. But what I recommend is like just like getting a single serve or something like that instead of anything else. Because if you've got a single serve, that way you're just not gonna slam a bottle of sugar. I just don't really see the point in, in doing that sort of stuff. So we've got the energy drinks. If you have caffeine still, uh, you don't want the calories of like coffee. Because I'm there's one of the times that I'll do things where like if I'm looking to cut out all my calories, I'll cut out liquid calories, but I still want caffeine. So I'll have some sort of sugar-free energy drink in the morning. Now obviously you got your Red Bulls, whatever. A lot of people say they don't taste the same. Just try it for a little bit and you won't even notice the difference after a couple of weeks. If you transition from full sugar to no sugar, I've helped people lose like four or five kilos and more just by making that switch that they didn't even know was a thing. So sometimes we can be pretty like clueless about what's actually gonna be effective for our fat loss goals. Switching to these is just a no brainer if you wanna tidy it up. So these guys here are also like a really, really friendly, low calorie uh, switch that if you're kind of like anti-sweetener, uh, these will tick the box. If you feel like fit and healthy from doing that, all the power to you, but it doesn't really make much of a difference. Team, if you liked that video, be sure to click here for your next video or here for something that you may like, all that sort of stuff, and make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you get all our videos. We make at least one video daily on a different topic. See you on the next one.